What is going on, guys? Welcome to Stock Talk with Nico Criticos. Today, we are going to be doing some analysis for JP Morgan stock. This stock has had a tremendous year, now up over 65% in the last year. And this is actually the rich, only trading at 13, 14 times earnings, but that's still the richest it's been at in the last 10 years. So normally this stock is trading at about nine or 10 times earnings. Right now we are trading at 13.7 times earnings. So this is pretty overvalued for this stock, which makes me think that the stock is probably going to come back down to about $190 and then it'll be at a more reasonable valuation. But, you know, JP Morgan is one of the most important banks in the entire world. And if we look at this company's track record for revenue and for net income, they are extremely consistent. Revenue, they average 4 to 7% revenue growth in the last 5 to 10 years. And last year, they did $154 billion of revenue. Now, the crazy thing is, remember that number, $155 billion of revenue. We're going to go down their net income. The net, the net income for last year was $50 billion. That means a third of their revenue is going to the bottom line, which is insane because 33% margins is very hard to find. So same thing with net income. We're looking at an average growth of about 8% in the last five to 10 years, which is, again, this is not a high growth stock, but this is a super consistent stock. And personally, that's what I'm a, a really big fan of because the consistency is what limits your risk and your downside, but it doesn't mean that you're, you're going to get bad returns. Look at the stock in the last year. It's up 65%. Those are incredible returns over a year. And you could have gotten similar returns from a very high growth stock that grows at 30, 40% a year, but there's a whole lot of risk and possible downside that goes with those high growth stocks. That's why I'm a huge fan of company investing in companies like this, where there's limited downside, super high consistency and predictability, which means less volatility for the stock, less things to worry about. But I mean, the thing is for next year, it looks like their EPS is expected to drop a little bit from 18.7 to 16.7. So that's another reason this stock needs to come down because if this stock normally trades at, let's say 10 times, 11 times earnings, and they're doing close to $17 EPS, next year, this stock should be $170, really, if you think about it, because EPS is going down and the valuation is the, rich, the richest it's been at right now. So I think this stock has a long way to go um, until it reaches a until until this valuation is just justifiable, let's say, 170 bucks is fair to me. That's where I see the stock headed, um, sometime next year, sometime in 2025. So that is my analysis for J.P. Morgan. Once again, I've owned this stock in the past. I made money with this company before, but again, I'd be interested in buying it if it's trading at, let's say, you know, if it's trading at eight times earnings, nine times earnings, then I'm interested. Otherwise, I'm not interested. So. That is my analysis for JP Morgan. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.